let's show you how to install an STIC key-in metering block assembly. Remove it from your packaging. You will get a metering block, some jets, a T20 security torx, some new torx screws with Loctite that's been pre-applied, and a new gasket. Remove your float bowl. Ours has been modified to use stainless Allen headed bolts. However, yours most likely has Phillips headed bolts. Be careful when removing these, it's easy to strip. Carefully remove your float bowl and set it off to the side. Push out your float pin. Do this over a safe space where you won't lose it. And then remove your float assembly and seat assembly and set that off to the side. It's important that you set the proper float height when you assemble your carburetor. Your retailer can give you those specifications. Using the security torx, remove the two security torx screws that hold your metering assembly into the carburetor. Once you've done this, carefully remove the metering assembly. Sometimes they get stuck, so you need a little jiggle and pull. And make sure that the gasket comes off with it, as shown in the video, it didn't. As you can see here, here is the stock metering assembly. And then here's the STIC metering assembly. Notably, it allows an interchangeable needle jet. This needle jet has some key features that have been patented that offer the performance gains of this product. You can see that here. There's another video on how to properly install and remove this needle jet assembly. Start by installing the gasket. It only goes on one way. You need to fully seat it into the groove. We've done that with a small flathead screwdriver after getting it somewhat close by hand. Be sure to do this carefully without damaging the gasket. We're just applying very light pressure here. You can also use a very light coating of grease to help hold it. Be sure to hold it upright and then put the carburetor on such that the gasket can't fall out and then with pressure applied to the metering assembly, you can hold it in place and turn the carburetor upside down so that it's easier to work on. Using the new security torque screw that has Loctite pre-applied to it. Start the bolts. And then with pressure on the metering assembly, walk the bolts tighter. As you get close to the bottom where the metering assembly needs to go in, you need to make sure your metering block is fully seated. To do this, you jiggle on the block a little bit and then apply pressure. As you get to the end, slowly walk the bolts on each side to ensure that the metering assembly is flush inside your carburetor. You now can install your pilot jet. When you do this, you need to run it all the way down, snug it up, and then back it off. Repeat this a couple of times. The very first time you assemble this, we want to make sure that the pilot jet is fully seated into the metering assembly. So for the very first time, run it in and back it out a couple of times. You will feel when it positively bottoms. You can install your main jet now and your metering assembly is ready for use.